All right, welcome back everybody for experiment 14.5. I moved inside today because, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little bit rainy outside. Kind of nasty. Didn't want to record out there, but um, it's a pretty simple experiment, so that's good. All you're gonna need for this one is any kind of instrument. So I'm using this big guitar that I don't know how to play, um, but <laughs> you can use just about anything. You can, as it says, even um, use a bottle and put a rubber band over it. So, yep, it's pretty simple. Um, I'll get right into the data, and then after that, I'll explain kind of what you guys should get from this. So, here we go. All right, real quick, here's the procedure. So, first, what I'm going to be doing is plucking the string very lightly. And then after that, I'll pluck it a little harder. After that, a little harder than that. And then the fourth time, I'll be plucking it the hardest. And essentially what we're going to be looking for is what's going to happen with the sound as I pluck harder. Alright, so that was experiment 14.5. There were kind of two things I wanted you guys to pick up on. The first being that the harder I plucked the string, the louder the sound was. And that's pretty basic, right? We know that if you're playing an instrument really hard, it's going to be louder than if you're playing it softly. And the second thing has to do with amplitude. So if you guys read module 14, you'll remember that amplitude is the height a sound wave reaches, whereas wavelength is the length of a sound wave. So keeping that in mind, what does affect amplitude? Well, module 14.5 shows us that the amplitude of a sound wave is proportional to how loud a sound is. So if you look at trial one here, you'll see that it has the lowest amplitude of any trial. And if you think back to the experiment, you'll also remember that it had the quietest sound of any trial. In trial two, the amplitude of the sound wave is a little bit bigger and the sound from the guitar was a little bit louder. We see this trend continue all the way up to trial four, which had the loudest sound from the guitar and also the largest amplitude from the sound wave. All right, so that should wrap up the experiments from module 14. In review, we learned that pitch is an indication of how high or low a sound is, and we know that wavelength and frequency can both affect the pitch. We also know that wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional, meaning that if a wavelength is longer, the frequency is going to be lower, and if the frequency is higher, the wavelength is going to be shorter, and vice versa for each of those. We also know that the amplitude of a sound wave is proportional to how loud the sound is, meaning that louder sounds produce larger amplitude sound waves. Alright, thanks for sticking around with me, and stay safe you guys.